welcome back. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be doing the reading problems tag. This was created by about to read. I will leave the link to the original video down below in the description. So hold on one second. Okay, question number one is you have 2,000 books on your TBR. How in the world do you decide what you, to read next? Um, I don't have a TBR pile. I usually just, if I'm reading a book in a series, I pick up the next one. And if I'm just reading a standalone, I just pick something else. Question number two. You're halfway through a book and you're just not loving it. Do you quit or are you committed? Some books I am committed because if it's part of a series, I want to know what happens. And if it's just a standalone and I don't like it, I just put it down. Question number three. The year, the year, the, the end of the year is coming and you're so close but so far away on your good read, reading challenge. Do you try to catch up and how? Um, I, my goal for this year was to read 50 books. I have not reached that goal yet. Um, I'm going to try to catch up by trying to read two books, but I don't know if I will catch up, and if not, that's okay. Question number four. The covers of your series you love do not match. How do you cope? I really don't care that much if a cover has changed. It's not that important to me, so if they do change and they don't match, um, that's okay. The only problem I do have with books that matching if all the books that I have in a series are in hardcover and they start to come out with the paperback for the, for the rest of the books, that's the one thing I cannot deal with. Um, question number five. Everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over your feelings, over your shared feelings? Um, I don't know. Nobody really, I guess. I just, you know, if I don't like a book, then, you know, I just keep my opinions to myself. I don't really spread it. Question number six. You're reading a book and you are about to cry in public. How do you deal? I really don't care if I cry in public that much. It's my, I'm reading a book and I'm enjoying it. And I like to show feelings. I really don't care what other people think. Um, question number seven. A sequel of a book you loved just came out, but you've forgotten a lot of the prior novel. Will you reread the book, skip the sequel, try to find the synopsis on Goodreads? City in Faction. Um, if a sequel to a book is coming out, I usually reread the first book so I know what's going on before I go on to the second one. Um, question number eight. You do not want anyone, anyone, barring your books. How do you politely tell them no? Um, here's my thing with that. I don't let you borrow my stuff. And if I do, I watch you like a hawk. I don't take my eyes off my stuff because I let one time I let my friend borrow this book it was in good condition and the book fell apart when she brought it back to me so if you do borrow my stuff I watch you like a hawk okay question number 10 there are so oh question number nine reading ad you pick up a book and put down five books in the last month how do you get over your reading slump? Um, simple, I don't pick up five books and put them down. I pick up one book at a time. And if I'm in a reading slump, I usually just stay out, um, try to get myself out of it by reading a nice and fluffy book. Question number 10. There are so many books, there are so many new books coming out that you are dying to read. How many do you actually buy? Um, I have a big problem, especially this month. I bought a lot of books, and my new rule is now that when I finish a book, 
or when I finish two or three books, I can buy more. Um, and I'm going to try to stick to that goal, but it's really hard. I Somebody has to steer me away from the computer or steer me away from Barnes & Noble when I do go out. Um, so, yeah, it's really hard. Okay, qu the last question, question 11. After you bought the new books, you can't wait to get to. How long did they sit on your shelf before you get to them? Um, if I'm reading a book at the moment that I bought the new books, they usually sit there for about maybe a week or so. And if I'm not reading anything at the time, then I get to it. So that is the end of this tag. The people that I tagged to do this tag are Josie from Planned Books, Julian from Bookish and Nerdy, Shannon from Cozy Tea Reads, and Whitney from Whitney Novels. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay Disney. Bye.